Today we are talking about parental blessing. I dropped a message before called parental influence. I also have another message called parental covenant. Today we are going to discuss about parental blessing because parents play major role in the life of their children. Yes, and every parent should know that they play a major role in the life of their children. That any wise parents, whether you are poor now or you are rich, you can determine the destiny of your child. You can determine whether your child will be a slave tomorrow. You can be rich now, but you can determine whether your children can be a slave tomorrow. And you can be poor now. Likewise, you can determine whether your children will be poor or poorer than you or whether they will be wealthy tomorrow don't forget touch that subscribe button and also click follow button depend the platform you are watching me right now so that you can be receiving all my updates god bless you parents have a greater role to play in the life of their children i want to start with an example in the book of genesis chapter 49 before jacob died jacob gathered his children he said come let me tell all of you how your future will be what is awaiting you in future and uh, jacob looking at his firstborn called Reuben, jacob said to Reuben, no matter what you try in life no matter how hard you struggle in life you will fail you will never prosper you will be like a wave of the sea that will be wave of the sea your life will be like wave of the sea that is say a man that has no destination he also looked at the, his second born called simeon and the levi the third born he refused to place any blessing on them he refused to place any single blessing on them then he looked at his fourth born called judah he loved judah and said to judah all men shall praise you your brethren shall praise you and make the name of Judah to be called praise. I am not surprised because I begin to check why did Jesus come from the lineage of Judah. I discovered that lineage of Rubel carried cause. There was cause placed there. Lineage of Levi and the Simeon, no blessing at all. And the Levi was the one that his father blessed. His father commanded blessing upon his son Judah. I want to talk to you, parents, that if you can command the blessing upon your children, that thing that happened to Judah will take place in the life of your children. It does not matter whether you are from a poor family or whether you are from a rich family. What matters is the word you are speaking over your children 24 hours. Give your children blessing. Give your children a spoken word. It's more than material things you try to gather for them. I believe it's good to have houses for your children. It's good to make investment for them. It's good to keep much money, good amount of money for them. But what about that thing called, what about that, uh, that, that spoken word? Give it to them. They need your spoken word more than any other thing on earth. Give your children a spoken word. It's more than the silver and gold you are gathering for them. But gather heaven and earth for your children. And refuse to release your blessing to them those things will be nowhere those things will make no meaning those things will be useless and meaningless to them so parental blessing if you are a child now a brother a sister and you discover that your parents have not placed the blessing upon you hear me your success is very difficult you will struggle in life so find your parents go back to your parents make them happy so that they will place their blessing upon you the blessing of your parents is the highest blessing you will ever receive in your life and it will go ahead of your destiny and prepare your future but if your mother if your father is dead go to your mother your mother still have the power as a mother and a father together to place that blessing on you if your your father is alive thank god but if your parents are dead you can now find the priest that is to say the spiritual leader of your church your pastor your evangelist your general overseer your prophet and because that man also is a father over you 
so he will command that blessing upon you maybe as you are hearing this word now your parents are still alive first or foremost go to them when they place that blessing on you you can now go to your spiritual father and he will also command prophetic blessing upon you if you are a brother you are a sister do everything possible to get the blessing of your parents don't say that you don't need them you need them in those days when a child want to go to sweet city his father will call him and say come my son come my son when the child come back his father will say to him stretch forth your two palms and the son or that daughter will stretch forth his or her two arms palms sorry and the father will put speed there these hands and the other ones that is this one his father will put speed here this one the father will put speed there and he looked up to his son and said as you are going to the city you are coming back with blessing somebody may say ordinary saliva no it's not saliva it's called blessing he's a spiritual force he empowered that child to prosper and to succeed and i want us to understand that any life that lacks parental blessing will suffer any life that lacks parental blessing will suffer in the journey of his life if he achieved 10 things today he would have achieved 100 things but because of the lack of that parental blessing he ended up achieving 10. the secret of jacob's blessing lies in that blessing his parents his father placed on him isaac said to his sons the brethren will serve you he placed that blessing upon jacob and the bible said in the book of genesis chapter 32 verse 10 that jacob returned back he said to god i am not worthy of your all your mercy because only with my ordinary stick i cross jordan and thou have blessed me this day beyond measure why isaac commanded blessing upon his son jacob but jacob made mistake instead of commanding that blessing upon his son Reuben, he, he decided to place cause there but i understand that no reasonable mother no reasonable father will place that blessing upon his disobedient child no father no mother will place a blessing upon his or her disobedient child instead of doing that he will place it upon his servant he can place it upon his maid he can place that blessing upon his driver so if you are a brother here if you are a child if you are a brother you are a sister make sure that you make your parents happy so that they will command that blessing upon you and don't neglect the blessing of your father don't neglect it don't neglect the blessing of your father even though your father may be alcoholic your father is a mad man your father is a wretched man your father is a miserable man your father is a man of no identity no dignity nothing nothing that blessing of your father don't neglect it is more than your silver and gold is more than any other thing and i pray for you through this wisdom that you are going to amend you are going to correct things you are going to make things to work and the lord will help you as you do so don't forget forward this message to many people share it like it and drop your suggestion i love you all see you next time